Cripps keeps a very untidy work area, doesn't he? This is where he sits sometimes. So what is up with that? Is he eating the animals raw? Like big hunks of meat and then they just drop off and he just slobbers all over the ground? Why would he do that? I mean, look at all those flies. Plus, what if I would have had a dog, which I don't, and I'll talk about that in a minute. If I were to have a dog and he got into that, he would get sick and die. Because dogs, even though they have higher constitutions and they'll eat rotten meat, I still wouldn't give it to a dog that I owned. No way. Plus, it draws the attention of coyotes and bears to the camp. Crips, I am not... I am not... understanding. I was just searching for the words in my brain. Because the word not came to my brain, and then to finish that sentence, I couldn't think of it. Because this is just so appalling. So I am not pleased. There, that's the right word. What if a pack of coyotes comes to camp, Crips? What are you thinking? Or are you a werewolf and you eat your you the the, the you know the the supplies that I give you to make materials and those supplies being animal carcasses and other stuff are you eating them and then crapping them out raw boy you must have the intestines of a made out of iron an iron stomach has a little bit more meaning now we've all heard that before they say boy that guy that boy has an iron stomach he can eat almost anything well Crips I think you are the king of iron stomachs sitting there letting the flies crawl up your backside what is wrong with you what are you doing I don't understand this I think I've driven that point home no need to keep talking about it I'm just repeating myself now aren't I high quality stew is garbage it doesn't do anything See what I've got right now in my health cores? If I were to eat that, it would replenish my health cores, but there's no yellow. It doesn't make them golden to where they're, the, they're reinforced. The only good stew is the superior quality. You need big game meat, which is easy to find. What's this? Cow poker supper. Stringy meat, bread roll, and Kentucky bourbon. I've never made that one before. But the superior quality is nice, but, I, but high quality stew, I think a medium quality stew do the same thing. Oh, it tells you what it does. Yeah, th these three pretty much do the same thing. Most people walk, unless you walk up to camp and you're pretty much got nothing to show for, then you're going to make a high quality, but most people walk around and their cores are about half anyway. So low quality, medium quality, and high quality all do the same thing. I'm not impressed with this as a game mechanic. So from what I'm seeing here, superior quality and, and cowpoke supper are both the same. It's got, it's got a four there, a Roman numeral four. Oh yeah, and then you got Crips. Talk, you tell the same stories, stories every day. When are you gonna start talking about something I haven't heard before? You gotta clean up your act there, Crips. You're kind of a disgusting human. I'm gonna kick.
kick you out of camp if you keep this up. Whatever it is you're doing, if you're a werewolf, you're keeping a good job at hiding it. But that's just, that's just too much. Clean up your mess. No self-respecting taxidermist. do that. You're a disgusting person, Crips. Just plain gross. It stinks and those flies. Everybody hates flies. Unless you're a reptile. Are you a reptile, Crips? Are you a some sort of lizard hybrid? What do you do? Did you just... Did you just try to eat a fly? Is that what you just did? I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. I feel like I'm talking to a five-year-old boy. That I have to... That I have to... Even bring this up... Is beyond... Forgivable. You're an embarrassment. You've got, a, you've got a couple days to get your act together. Clean this mess up here. Stop shitting on the floor. Christ alive. What you, that's what I was saying when I saw the mess. No, no I'm not going to do that. Don't worry. That's no reason to be executed, but it, it's pretty close because you're risking the lives of the people here in camp. What a jackass. Let me know in the comments, everybody, what you think about this mess. Can you, can, maybe, maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe there's a logical reason but I don't I can't think of one except the only logical reason I can come up with is that he's just a clod a slob or a werewolf it's either all of those or one of them or he plain just doesn't care what an irresponsible jackhole okay Feed my horse. What to do? What to do? Yeah. I suppose I could do a long distance because I have to do two of them today to earn some gold. Problem is, is long distance runs are kind of long. And they can be attacked and stolen by real players. So if I want to just do a nine dollar a nine dollar delivery, see if it's a short delivery, it's seven fifty. It goes up to nine dollars and thirty seven cents if I do a distance delivery, which will help satisfy my daily challenge needs. I gotta do two of them anyway. And why risk I don't wanna rush you, but What, Crips, you gotta go back and sit down on your fly meat? Is that what you wanna get back to? Gross. I can't even look at you. Come on, I'm a busy man. Yeah, I can see that. You're a busy man that likes to sit and fly m disgusting rotten fly meat and let the let the fumes of that stench would be nice. get all of your clothes up into your beard. I want you to go down to the river and take a bath, come back and clean this mess up if I, by the time I come back. Otherwise you're fired. The suspense is killing me. You're going to like being fired. I guarantee it. Okay, we're going to do a long distance delivery. In your own time. You know, Gee, thanks, I Crips. really feel like a new man. All these long dormant passions surging through me once more. So uh, while I head into town in search of some uh, company... After you, you clean up your it, mess. It'll be a bit of a journey, I'm afraid, but the buyer's offering good money. Yeah, not really that much, but I think it's a smart move. It's not it's not a lot of risk. 
and the, re the reward and the risk are about balanced. I know it's only nine bucks, but it's better than having my. If I, if some real players want to steal my cargo, at least I don't lose much. And if I can make it, I'm one step closer to getting that extra little bit of gold bar today. So I can start making my guns look nice and fancy. It costs a lot of gold bars to make your guns pure gold. But it is possible. Every little piece, there's different pieces that you can have them turned into gold. Take them to the gun shop, use gold bars, of course, and then the gunsmith melts them down, does his thing, and then poof! You got a real nice looking gun. As you can see, my, my uh, repeating shotgun there on my back that I'm carrying there has some gold on it. My rifle there, you can see has some gold on it. Here, let me do a little bit closer so you can see. See all those little parts? Every little part costs a certain amount of gold. And then it gets, starts to get real expensive the more, you, the more parts you do. It's almost like compound interest. I think some, some pieces cost an upwards to like 20 something gold bars just to, I think just for like, for example, the trigger, I think costs something like 20 something gold just to do it. Oh yeah? Let me know how my shotgun bullet tastes. You know what? And to make this mission even more, rival traders can now steal the goods. Well, I was gonna go loot some bodies, but not now. I just don't want to give a real player the satisfaction. So I'm gonna guard this cargo like it's a full load. That's the drawback with distant deliveries. Of course it's because they're a long ways away and because real players have more time to intercept it. Which is fun, which makes the game fun. Because of that element that's added to this game. It's a lot of fun. Boy, Crips, what's up with that rotten meat and the flies? Now I'm just beating a dead horse, aren't I? Bringing it up. But I've always wondered, and I thought I would share a video and make a video about it, what's up with that big pile of stinky rotten meat there in the middle of camp? Who does that? Seriously, it's a rhetorical question, but when you say it with an inflection, you say it like this. Who does that? As a whole, you know, you know what I mean. Like, seriously, you're a grown man, a grown old man, Crips, which, you know, not trying to put you down, I'm just saying, you gotta, you're supposed to be wise and have wisdom. That's just, that's just stupid. Jeez, a little bit rusty fire in there. I don't want to shoot your horse. Kind of a sloppy shot. I'm not doing so well. What was that ridiculous nonsense? Okay, now we're going to loot these bodies. Get something good. Make this trip worthwhile. Even more worthwhile. Ten cents. Yeehaw, I can spit shine my shoes. What are you gonna. Is this where you want them? At least I passed the mission and got 250 XP. Six bucks. One out of two daily challenges for that particular mission. I'm gonna call, call my real horse. And that'll be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Have a good day.